Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. It's another Tuesday morning here in the lockdown. And uh, I hope all your own personal lockdowns are going well. Um, I got a brand new fresh can of Stoker's Mint here that I cracked already to put the last pinch of a, a an older can in here. So I got the bonus can. I got the bonus can now. You can almost you can sort of see where I put the pinch. It, none of it matters. In the, pragmatic universe. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I haven't had my, I haven't had any dope yet today. Having this beard and mustache, especially, like, it's, it makes, I'm always having my fucking lip encrusted with dip, you know, and, uh, it's hard to tell. It's weird how my beard's growing in. It's all white, except, I guess up here isn't, but down here is. And then I have this, like, triangular fucking deal here. And a fucking El Sinistro mustache. I don't know. It's it's an adventure growing a beard when you haven't grown one for since the early twenties. You know. <coughs> and by you, I mean me, of course. So I haven't vlogged, I didn't vlog yesterday, I didn't do anything yesterday. I was suffering a great uh, lack of creativity, lack of motivation. You know, I made, I think I made four 20 minute vlogs yesterday, but I just couldn't, something fucked up in all of them, you know, and uh, I just got frustrated with it. And, uh, and I was trying to work on. I'm 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 learning a bunch of new songs, not new, but like old blue songs. And uh, I did a lot of that yesterday, you know, trying to learn songs, and not not record songs. So sometimes you got to do that. <laughs> I was in an interesting conversation yesterday. Um, with a with a dear friend of mine um, who works as an artist, um, a performance artist, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, here are my thoughts on on the coronavirus and the arts. Right now is not you know everybody's going through financial waste. You know, <laughs> like everybody's going through financial trouble right now. Um, I'm very grateful to say that being on a fixed government income, I'm not. I'm not having those kind of troubles. I got troubles of my own though, <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, yeah, like it's it's not a time to be um, uh, you know. To me, like I don't know, it's time to it's a time to build community right now. It's a time to, you know, we all got we all got to stay home. A lot of people got fucked over by their work. Things closed. It was like unforeseeable, unbelievable. You know, when I find a lot of my musician friends. Um, have taken to doing like songwriting isolation challenges and uh, 
I thought I was going to give myself one of those, but I kind of, I fuck around too much. <laughs> um, you know, and like, it's, it was, it's a great time for people to, you know, share their, share their gifts with people, right? Um, I'm looking long, like long view here, you know, um, which is good to do in the music industry <laughs> if you can. But, uh, so kind of right now, my thoughts are like, yeah, like I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do free performances on YouTube and on Facebook and where, whatever, you know, just to make people, hopefully some will make somebody happy, you know, and it'll make me happy for being able to express myself, right? But I was talking to my friend, and they were, uh, they, you know, you know, because I said, like, it's really great to see all these people doing Facebook Live things, and I've done a few myself. And I was going to follow that up with, because when all this is said and done and over with, um, my, my optimistic hope is that people will view uh, musicians and artists and whatever in a much higher light, you know, because who helped get through this, you know, who helped so many people get, get through this? The musicians did, you know, the people who shared their talents, you know. So for me, it's a time like, yeah, like give it away, you know, and don't worry about getting paid right now, you know. I mean, yeah, I have a PayPal thing on my on my uh, descriptions most of the time, but I don't expect anybody to donate to it during this time, and you know, unless you really, really can and really, really want to, you know, I don't expect anybody to send me money, um, and that's fine, you know. Uh, but yeah, my friend was saying, you know, I've been invited to do all all this Facebook Live stuff, you know. And this person is a person who's used to performing like as a like as a job, you know. Um, that's what they do, you know. And uh, <clears throat> for the most part, and. Uh, they get paid quite well. Uh, you know, the the poetry scene, I guess, is where it's at right now in Canada. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a well-paid, published poet, you know. And uh, they were saying, you know, I got invited to do all this free stuff, you know, and, I'm, and I did some of it, and then I thought, you know, I'm tired, <clears throat> I'm not getting anything out of this, you know, so if people want to see me perform, they're going to have to pay me, you know, and I, I can respect that, but, you know, if that's the if that's the route you want to take for sure, you know, and you know it's kind of. I'm looking long view, you know, like I'm looking at this time as a time for artists to be appreciated, and hopefully when all this is done, people will have a higher appreciation for musicians and artists. And my friend was saying, "No, I want to be paid now, you know, if you're gonna get me to do anything, you know." And, yeah, sure, you know, I I do think that artists and performers and musicians are terribly, terribly underpaid. It's a very hard profession being in, in the music industry or the theater industry, you know. It's extremely hard and competitive. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you just got to do it because you believe in it, you know, even if. Even if nobody likes it, maybe it'll be recognized someday or something, you know. But, uh, I don't know, it just made me, it made me think, I was thinking on that all day yesterday, you know. 
what do you guys think about that? Some of you are musicians and performers. Um, you know, do you think you should get paid for your for your live performances on uh, on social media, or do you see it like this is a time of rest and just perform and make people happy and look for a brighter future in the future? <laughs> you know, nobody's looking. You know, no. I don't know. Art and music are essential services. Are extremely essential services. Art infiltrates almost every every single thing you do throughout your day. There's some sort of art or design involved in it. You know, from your furniture mm -hmm. up to your, uh, you know, the way you style your house to your book, your book collection, your CD collection, your cassette collection, and all of it has art. You know. Uh, your record collection, you know, all of it has art, and uh, you go to the the gas station. You go to a, I don't even know what gas stations we have in here in Canada, Esso or whatever, you know. Um, what was my point with that? I don't know. All I'm saying is everybody's under hard times right now. And uh, we all got to work together, and that's my view on it. I'm not out for the for the grab it while you can kind of thing. I'm out for the 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 good of the the common the good of the common people, you know. And uh, you know, do what you can now and hope for the best in the future, because everybody's going through it right now, you know. You can't be demanding that people pay you for performing for a half hour on Facebook. Um, is not how I see it right now. <laughs> you know, if if that's the case, I you know you're either going to be you're either a really highly sought out performer, or you're going to not not perform anything and hopefully use that time you know, to work on stuff, you know, so, it, you know, it's good either way, I guess, but, I don't know, I just was thinking on that yesterday, because I just want to play right now, I just want to play and make myself happy and try to make the people who like my music happy, so, whoever the fuck they are, <laughs> you know, I, knew who, I know who they are here, but, uh, it's all weird. But yeah. Anyhow. Just carry on. <laughs> We're all just carrying on. Um, one thing I'm really finding, you know, and it's funny because I spend a lot of my time just like this anyway. You know, just sitting home all day. Not going out anywhere. You know. And, uh, you know, over the last year and a half or so, I've been kind of getting out a bit more and being social more. And that's a big uh, step for me, uh, given what's, what's wrong with me, you know. So I find this life kind of easy, you know, but I'm hoping it doesn't uh, set me back mentally, you know, about going out, going out in the world. I don't know. It's already done a number on me that way. <laughs> so, but uh, we're all going through it, you know. Everybody's going through stuff, you know. I feel so bad for all the children who are in abusive homes who can't escape right now, you know. I feel... You know, anyone, anyone in any volatile domestic situation... You know, having to be cooped up together, I fucking, oh, it makes me cringe. But hopefully you're all getting along well with your families and reminding people that you love them. This is a time not to be fucking screaming and crying because it's not going to get you anywhere because um, everybody's screaming and crying or wanting to be, you know, <laughs> like every, doing the inner mental scream at least, you know. Um, 
It's a time to be giving and loving, you know, uh, and good to your people. And, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I find the, the days uh, and the nights are just rolling so fast, you know. Like, this all seems so long and timeless, you know, but it's, uh, it's just sped up the days. And this is, this isn't just for me, like, other people have said it too, um, a few other people, you know, my roommate Kelsey uh, has said it, um, Hillary has said it, um, I can't remember who else I talked to, my my weed, my weed person, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, strange times, we all know that, we're all going through it, but, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest, because it was, it's been bugging me since yesterday, um, not that I disagree with my friend, but, not, I don't want to, I don't want to do that, you know, I'm not that sought out a performer, you know, that I can start demanding people to pay me for putting my pants on in the morning and singing a couple songs, you know. Um, maybe my friend is. We'll find out in the long run, I guess. I don't know. But I hope you're all doing well, people. I hope you're all getting through whatever you're going through. And, uh, Hanging in, you know, nothing but love from the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. And with that, I will bid you a farewell. As I say to you, be well. Bye now.